Here at Fellows Riverside Gardens in Youngstown, volunteers are unloading a delivery truck full of annuals, perennials and herbs in preparation for the plant sale taking place this weekend. They come really from all nurseries all over the state of Ohio, some near Astabula, some near down near Columbus. So we patronize uh, long-standing nurseries with gr great reputations for good plants. They're traditionally the same plants you see, the oldies and goodies, but they have new varieties. This year is something new and exciting, aquatic plants. I order all the herbs and do that section of the plant sale. We usually a lot of times sell out after the first day, so you want to come quick if you want them. While many of the plants come from nurseries across the state, some are grown right here in the gardens by the volunteers. I grow the vegetables from seed for the plant sale. It's a long process, but it's a fun process. There's several tables here of vines, of annual vines that we grow every year, and we have, I think it might be about 200 or so, flowering vines here. We've also planted about 300 sunflowers, 10 different kinds of sunflowers of all different sizes. This year, money raised from the annual plant sale will go towards the building of a new greenhouse, giving the volunteers more room to grow. I love to work here. The employees here at, at the garden um, are very dedicated and uh, there's a dedicated group of volunteers who help throughout the year make the gardens as beautiful as they are. It was originally intended to be mostly roses, but obviously it's grown from that point. Rob Chismar is garden supervisor. He says last year volunteers helped plant about 40,000 bulbs throughout the gardens. It all starts usually about six months ahead of time. So for our bulb display, uh, we're actually planning late summer, actually mid to late summer of the previous year because we have to get our bulbs in the ground. Fellows Riverside Gardens is celebrating its 60th anniversary this year. Right now this is just a, a mix of tulips and sort of peaches and, and purples. Full-time gardener Marcy Dubeck is responsible for designing what the gardens will look like every year. This year, the designs have a special theme. We've sort of incorporated uh, diamonds in for our diamond anniversary, and I didn't want to just drop a, a, a number 60 in the middle of the bed or a diamond in the middle of every bed. So I've kind of used uh, deconstructed diamonds and a lot of geometric designs. Dubeck uses a program called Publisher to design what the garden beds will look like every year. Here we see a sneak peek of what the Axeman bed near the water fountain will look like for the annual display. Lots of pinks and whites and purples. And this is an example of the, uh, as I said, the deconstructed diamonds. Um, rather than just, you know, one diamond in the middle, I've added, you know, half a diamond here and a couple over there, but I can move the shapes and things around and play with color and design. In order to fill the gardens with flowers, volunteers need to transplant seedlings like these. They always want to keep their little ears to the sun. Jane Burchett has been volunteering at the gardens nearly every day for the past 16 years. May 1st. It was 16 years, and I love it. She says there are personal benefits to volunteering that people may not realize. It's great work, great therapy. Mm -hmm. My physician says that you have always said this is great place because we work indoors and outdoors, and we get our exercise. I believe it's a great way to volunteer your time. It takes a lot of people and a lot of effort and, and a lot of work and planning to, to make sure that um, we, we give a, a quality garden and a quality product here for folks to enjoy. I, I think what's really special is the dedication of both the employees and the volunteers. We just all work together with the common goal. You de-stress, you don't think of any problems, it's just a fun place to be. This park is a treasure to all of us and I want to see it looking its best and so we try to do our little part to do that. It's just a nice group of people and it's for a good cause, so everybody shows up, so it's one big happy family most of the time. <laughs> it's a way to volunteer in a meaningful way in our community, learn a bit about growing things and helping things happen, have a nice camaraderie with others, so we're always looking for a few other volunteers to join us, but um, it's a great way to spend time. They love these gardens, They've seems like they've been here volunteering forever. Um, 
but of course we're always looking for new folks to come out and volunteer in the gardens. You can help support Fellows Riverside Gardens by attending the plant sale this Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. All the plants are under a tent, so if we should have sprinkles, no umbrellas needed. It can shop and stay dry, and uh, there's plenty of ample parking. We have shopping carts for to make the, the shopping experience easy for people, and so we want people to come out and enjoy themselves.